Welcome to the video tutorial on how to create Instant Atlas reports for census data mapping and reporting. This video shall cover the creation of a population pyramid using the single map template and shall also look at the census comparisons using the double map template. With your free 30-day trial download of Instant Atlas, you receive three programs. Instant Atlas Publisher, Designer and Style Editor. This tutorial shall require the use of publisher and designer programs. To begin, double click on the Instant Atlas Publisher. Once it is loaded, click the Next button. On the Choose a Template page, select Single Map Flash Edition. The HTML template does not yet support pyramid charts. You then have the option to select a language that the report will be published in and then click Next. Now select your base geography. For the 2011 census data, population pyramid, open source ordnance survey map files detailing the local authorities of England and Wales were used. Any industry standard map file can be used within Instant Atlas for either your base or contextual layers. Set the code and name to correspond to the map file details in properties, you can change the name of this file. This is what shall be displayed in the map legend of the published report. Click OK and then click Next. Now you can browse and load a data.xml file or you can create demo data and load in your actual data after the report is published. If you have any contextual geography map files, you can load them here. None were used in this report. Click Next. On this page, background images such as WMS or ArcGIS mapping can be added. For this report, we shall add ArcGIS mapping. You then paste in the URL, click the refresh button, and this then selects the layers and coordinate systems. On this page, you can set the basic settings of the report. The configuration, the color profile, and the title. Under the Advanced tab, the desired map margin can be set for the base geography layer being used. Then click Next. Here you should browse to the output folder you wish to save the report into. And then click Publish. Whilst the report is publishing, we shall have a look at the Excel workbook format required to generate the data.xml file for use within the report. The workbook requires three sheets. Geography and Filters, IA Datasheet and Metadata. The IA Datasheet contains the actual data in a hierarchical layering of themes, indicators and instances. Here there are six themes. The Metadata Sheet here contains meta text linked to each theme which in the report shall be displayed as an explanation of the data source with a hyperlink to the Office of National Statistics. Back on the IA datasheet, the first two columns contain the report's geographical identifiers. These must match with the data on the geography and filter sheet. Once the data is formatted appropriately, it is an easy operation to create the XML file through Instant Atlas's Excel add-in. Simply click the IA export and select the destination for the save file and click save. Back to the publisher. Now the report has been created, we need to unpack it. Simply select the same output folder and unpack. Now to view the standard report, navigate to the output folder and double click the atlas.html file. This will automatically open the report in a browser window. This report is displayed in the standard single map layout. In order to reconfigure the report's layout, we need to open the config.xml file. You can do this by simply dragging and dropping the file onto the Instant Atlas Designer desktop icon. The data.xml file should also be copied into the base folder to overwrite the default data generated during publishing.
Once the config file is loaded, for ease of operation, we recommend you change the view to the wireframe layout. Now you are free to move, rescale and delete any elements of the report you wish. You can also insert new elements here. I shall select the pyramid chart. Easily move it by clicking on it and dragging. And then resize. For the pyramid chart, using large variations in data values you should uncheck the use x-axis min and max, remembering to save your changes or the atlas shall not be updated. Navigate back to the atlas and you can view the layout changes. You can populate the pyramid by simply clicking on one of the geographical areas to view its population distribution. With a bit of time and thought, you can set out a report to visualise the elements you wish. Here you can select an area by name from the table or select it from the map, zoom into your selected area and you can zoom extent. Here the background maps are switched off. There is also comparison data and the meta text shown earlier with an embedded hyperlink to the Office of National Statistics. Under the data button you can select the individual data themes and indicators. The HTML5 single map template does not yet support the pyramid chart, however selecting the area centroids as the base geography and the area polygons as the contextual geography you can generate a report similar to this. Here the background mapping is switched on. Again the layout is very similar with slight variations to the flash edition. Now let's look at the double map census comparison reports. Using either the double map or the double map time series templates makes visualization between census years easy. Open the publisher again and select the double map or double map time series template. As with our single map, our base geography is the open source ordnance survey map file. With the code and name fields and properties correctly set up, click next. Having already created a data.xml file for the population change between 1991 and 2011, I shall load it here as opposed to later. Click Next. There are no contextual geographies for this report, so I shall just click Next. The background mapping is the same as was used in the single map, so I shall just click Next. Again, you can adjust the settings of the report, then the output folder for the report to be saved in needs to be selected. Then press publish. Whilst the report is publishing, let's look at the Excel workbook which created the data.xml file. Again, the workbook is in the standard three sheet format where the geography and filters match the geographical extents of the IA datasheet. For the population change, there are three themes total population change, total male population change and total female population change. Three indicators and three date ranges. In the metadata sheet, again meta text has been added to give data source and calculation formula information. You can also set custom palettes. Returning to the Instant Atlas Publisher, unpack your report and open the Atlas HTML file.
Again, this is in the standard report layout, where data ranges, geographic areas and indicators can be easily selected. In order to adjust this layout, open the config.xml file in Designer. Again, for ease of operation, we recommend you change the view to wireframe layout. Here, report elements can easily be moved, inserted, selected and deleted. Again, with a bit of time and thought, you can easily create your desired report layout. Here are examples of the Flash and HTML population change reports. along with Flash and HTML population density reports. I hope you have found this video informative and you are now confident in using the Pyramid Chart option and the other Census Data Mapping template options within Instant Atlas. If you would like any further information, please visit our website at www.instantatlas.com forward slash census. Thank you for watching.